guy. Right over there. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to show you my first day of wipe. The good points and the bad points. Honestly, watching this video back showed me that I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of things to get better in. Um, but yeah, enjoy. So, right now on wood, we're on woods. I just shot a scav far away, uh, which I'm about to loot. Now, I pick off this scav because he has a vapor and I really want that um, gun. So, we move on back to the body um, of the enemy that I just killed. And after I looted the body and uh, the house where I killed the scuff next, uh, I head off for the extract. which I make and get out with the loot and this was the first scuff run of today it was really big it was like uh, I think 20 meters you could stand away from it and still was extract but yeah that was decent it was really good oh I saw him For my next raid I did a PMC run on customs to which I brought a 12 gig slug shotgun and as you just saw I shot at a guy running out of the warehouse and spotted him but I missed and uh, next thing I was gonna do is trying to hunt him down uh, to find him see where he fled to but I couldn't really find him so I decided to, to move him past the wall stay a little bit in the area maybe he would show up and uh, if he didn't run into me, he had to wrap all the way around past Scaf checkpoint, which I didn't assume he would do. But then I heard a strange noise, and uh, I heard someone running in, and that's where the fun began. Hatchling dude, that's so sad that there's still fucking hatchlings. So I took down the hatchling and I moved on. That just sucks. Okay. So for the next run I went back to customs as a PMC, but I made a grave mistake as you can see. Are you kidding me? I brought part of my stash into the raid and so I actually had a new goal instead of doing stuff in the raid I just wanted to extract to not lose all my stuff and this is how that went So to give a little bit of context, I got shot from the right side by a PMC that spawned close to me and I didn't see him even though I knew he was somewhere around. Uh, I have to go to the but it was just some bad luck. I got like the perfect spawn for dorms right now. Once again I went into customs as a PMC with the baby motion. I got a good spawn so I rushed dorms straight away and I had some good keys for dorms as well. So I just tried to turn this one into a loot run. I 
I found some great loot and decided to focus on the quest that I had, which was finding the bronze pocket watch, which is stash in the tanker I'm running up to right now. Normally you need a key for this, the machinery key, but somebody already did the quest before me, so I could just grab the pocket watch and get out. I moved over the makeshift bridge towards crossroads to extract, which I did successfully. I mean, I'm sweaty too, on that prospect. I got killed by a fun run through? What? Eight minutes, I should have waited two minutes more. No, this means that the items I found in raid don't count as found in raid, so I can't sell them on the flea market or deliver them as found in raid items. And some of them are actually good to sell on the flea market. Next I went into woods as a BMC with a Mosin sniper rifle and while I was in woods I found an AK, lucky me, and decided to use this one for close range combat. I heard an enemy PMC close by, so I decided to take shelter on this rock and see if he moved past me so I could take him down. He doesn't really come out, so I decide to peek to the side. There he is. At this point I spot him, but I don't really hit him. I maybe hit him once, but the rest of my shots I miss. So I decide to pull back. Yep. While taking my time to check my magazines and enter a better position, I get shot from the side, which forces me to fall all the way back to a safe position. I actually get shot a second time, but I managed to survive for now. Somehow, <sighs> this guy gives up two great shots and I'm almost dead. I was a bit unlucky there, but I managed to get up to Lookout Rock, or Sniper Rock it's actually called I believe. And get an overview of Lumber Mill. So I'm like holding the choke point now. This is Lumber, which is where the scav boss is. Almost every map has a scav boss. Which is like... An uber strong guy with good loot. So it kind of attracts a lot of attention. And most time it's in the hot zones of the map. Well, this is like the hot zone of this map, Lumber Mill. After I don't really spot any enemies, I decide to move on through the woods towards my extraction and maybe find some scavengers or PMCs on the way there. Car's already gone. I'm already there's an ex escape car here. If you have rubles for it, so if somebody already took this one. To get out. So it's not oh yeah, that, that guy. At this point, I run into a unlooted body, which is kind of suspicious at first. That's why I decide to not loot it straight away, but see if there are any enemies around. Nope, it's not. After I don't spot anyone, I decide to loot it, but it was a trap after all. 
And I get shot at. Run, 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 run. He hits me in the legs, which means I'm crippled and I need to take a painkiller to be able to run and fall back. At this point I'm hurt and I need to heal up to actually take the fight. But this guy is smart and he doesn't give me any time to adjust reposition. He pushes me straight away. Because he knows he has the upper hand now. No really easy way to Looking back at it, I wouldn't say I played this out the smartest. But that's all in hindsight now. Like this map for this reason, like you get shot from anywhere. In the end, after I try to reposition again after getting shot again, I'm kind of suspicious that I might die. Oh, okay. And I'm dead. And that's exactly what happens. So lame. After a few frustrating runs and a short break, I decide to head in again at a scav run at the interchange. I have a Facebook account, but I have which gets interesting pretty quickly. I think. Stupid fucking. I run into another player scav with a slug shotgun who tries to take me out, but he misses most of his shots. Which gives me the opportunity to take the upper hand and take him out. Oh, this is actually good stuff right there. I'll take all the yeah. Most of the time when I have a scav with a lot of backpack space and rig space, I had to interchange because it has a lot of loot that is uncontested. Which means you can just loot up and get out to get some free money. After I looted the scav, I look around at Ollie to find some more loot and then head out to Emmerkin checkpoint to extract. Even though the hardest part seems over, I'm not getting out that easily. And I'm faced with one more challenge. The extract camper. No way, dude. Come on. Defying deadly metal bullets flying past my head, I managed to dodge all his incoming attacks and extract successfully. Giving me a good final raid of the day. 